Well, guys, if this is an old road, I don't know what is. But it goes like that all the way down to that road, and it keeps going straight up that line. Perfect. Right in a straight line. The signs are there. You just got to find them. a new cellar hole guys huge line of trees there and i just got a coin oh yeah v nickel for sure oh yeah look at that what year what year what year 1910 let it be a 1913 1910 sweet dude. sweet dude yeah that's sweet all right on to the next one guys all right guys give me a rusty I don't know what it is. Oh, probably a button back or something. Clip back, maybe old. No writing on it. Oh well, that had me fooled there for a minute. All right, on to the next one. Nice. Yeah, Lance just got himself a nice buckle. That's really nice. I like that. Wow, that looks like one of those. Get in the sunlight here, so you guys can see it ornate i like it it's really cool it looks like one of those shoulder strap ones you know where the other one fits into it and they pull like that that thing is wicked cool i like that awesome yeah i bet you that sounded real good huh it did well, <laughs> all right guys on to the next one lance says he's got a button Let's see what he's got we're just kind of going sporadically at this spot no really rhyme or reason right now We'll come back later and grid it off. But right now, I just want to see what's out here. I want to see if it was even worth digging. Because I don't know what was here. But you say you got a pretty cool button. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Cool. Oh, yeah. It's got a shanky. It's on your back, but it's still got the shank on it. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, that's pretty cool. A lot of floral designs, man. All right. A lot of them. All right, guys. On to the next. All right, guys. So I'm out at a new foundation hole again today. Nice big tree right there. Big pine tree right there. There's a lot of snow, but there's a big open patch of grass. I'm swinging. First hole. Button, buddy. And it looks like it's pretty cool. I'm going to get it cleaned up. I don't know how well you guys can see it. I can't really see my phone screen, so, but it looks pretty awesome. Let me clean it up, and I'll get some pictures of it and let you know what it is. All right, guys, so everybody on my crew has found something with this on it. This will be the first for me. This is the cool history right here. It's the Grand Armory of Republic, I do believe. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me try to focus in on that. See, it says G-A-R. That is so cool. That's some good history right there, buddy. Yeah, first hole, this is going to be a good foundation. Hopefully, there's some shiny here. I don't ever get my hopes up when I come out to these places because normally they're trashed up. But this one seems pretty decent. There's there's a nice deep cellar hole out there. It's really, really deep. Probably six foot, seven foot deep in the middle. But there's some big trees around here, so, and it dates back to the 1915 map. But there it is, buddy. Another piece of history gotten. All right. I'll get back with you on the next good tone. I think I'm going to live dig it just because I just want to be safe. This, this is, yeah. All right, guys. I got a 70 signal here. Sorry about the thing. This pinpointer really interferes. Really interferes with my machine because they're the same. Oh, it's iron, it looks like. Yep. Something. I can't get it out, but it's, I got some rusty color now. It's iron. All right, guys. So this is a high iron area. Pick this up. 
thought that was my target. And I'm like, no, I swung back over it again. It gave me 80s. To me, this looks like it's pretty heavy. It's brass. But I'm really thinking it's part of a doorknob. Because if you kind of look at the way it's shaped, see that little thing right there? That's where the metal part would have been. And you turn it like this. So that's pretty cool. Some old relic history right there. I'll take it. And it's really crude, though. It could be a lot of things, but it could be a finial. It could be anything, but that's what I think it is. Just by the way it's shaped right there, it looks like that was a part that went to the door and you turned the knob like this. It's got that right shape, so. All right, get back with you on the next target. All right, guys, just pulled this. Yeah, got a nice... Let's see if we can. Nice floral pattern on there. I wonder if it's got any writing on it. Don't look like it. It's cool, though. Nice old suspenders clip right there. Yeah, buddy. All right, guys. On to the next signal. All right, guys. Here's the next signal. Some clock parts. It was an iffy signal, so I didn't live dig it, but... Yeah. That'll do. Let's get it out in the sunlight so you can see it a little better. There you go. Yeah, just a, some wheel on a clock for something. I don't know. Could be anything, really. Could be to a toy. Could be to anything. But, there you go. Alright, on to the next one. Well, guys, I just pulled another V-nickel. That's three for this year, already. 1906. I had to clean it because I didn't know what it was. It was real. I was hoping it was a shield, but, you know. But that's alright. I'll take a 1906 V-nickel. I'm out at this place here. I don't know what the deal is over there. You can't dig down three inches without hitting, like, gravel so packed it's like concrete so i come along the edge of these woods and boom v nickel buddy that's what i'm talking about all right guys <laughs> seems like the only digs i got for you this year is v nickels <laughs> i got three so far so i will get back with you on the next signal all right guys so i just dug this right next to that v nickel literally right there and it was giving me funky numbers, but I dug it anyways, because that's what I do. Yeah, the back's off. The front, I don't know if I get it to come open or not. But man, look at that. The whole thing. That's way cool. Yeah, boy. It's been a relic kind of day. I'm digging it. Look, it's got fancy on it and everything. I wonder if it's got any writing on it. It's got some kind of design in the middle there. Yeah, look at that. It's got design all over it. Even on the back. It's plated, but hey, that's okay. Ooh, there's a little heart down there and everything. That's awesome. So sweet. All right, guys. I'll get back with you. Well, got my first lantern parts. That wasn't deep at all. Oh, it's falling apart. It's all packed full of junk. Uh-oh. Oh, my finger was stuck in there. <laughs> now that would have been... Oh, look, there's still glass in there even. Check that out. Pretty wicked cool there. Yeah, it's all mucked up. I'm going to stick this one on the truck. But the loggers pushed everything around. You can see I got all these humps and mounds everywhere from them logging. They logged over there. But that's what happened. They pushed all the dirt over there. So I figured, oh, I'll start on that side and work my way over this way. And boom, I got the pocket watch and the V-nickel, but I'll take these uh, lantern parts. Yeah, look, all the glass is still in there and everything. Cool. All right, guys, on to the next one. That's got to be the biggest escutcheon plate I've ever seen. And it's thick, buddy, but it's cool. I think it was for a door handle, I do believe. I broke it right there. That piece went right there like that. On there, I'm thinking maybe there was another piece there that broke off that had the same thing, but I'm thinking that's where the square was, where the door handle was. Wicked cool. This is turning out to be a really good spot here. This is one I've passed up on for years because it's always been logged around here, but I guess I shouldn't have. All right, guys, catch you on the next tone.
Wow, guys. That is awesome. I didn't take 20. You know how many times I've walked by this signal? I can't believe it. That is awesome. Uh, second barber of the year.